Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I would like to give an example on interpolation, which is physical application problem. See the statement of the given problem. The following data gives the melting points of an alloy of lead and zinc. Okay, see here, percentage of lead in the alloy is given as 50%, 60%, and 70%, 80%. So, to get percentage of lead in the alloy, the temperature is required as 205 degrees and 225 degrees and 248 degrees and 275 degrees respectively. Find the melting point of the alloy containing 54 percentage of lead using appropriate interpolation formula. It means that you have to find out the temperature Q. Okay. For getting the percentage of lead in the alloy is 54 percentage. Okay, do one thing. You can take percentage of lead in the alloy as X values and respect to temperature values as Y values. So, it is enough to find out the Y of 54. Okay, it is enough to find out Y of 54. Clearly, we are observing that X values has separated by the equal difference 10. So, given data has equal parts and 54 lies at the starting of the data. That's why we can apply Newton's forward interpolation formula. So, first of all, construct the forward difference table. Forward difference table. See. Write the x values and respect to temperature values. First order forward difference. Second order and third order okay one two three four since four values are given to you you will get only third order forward difference in the difference table x values of 50 60 70 80 y values are 205 225 248 274 okay so Write the differences here. Below value minus above value. 225 minus 205 would be 20 only. 248 minus 225 is nothing but 23. And 274 minus 248. It would be 26. 23 minus 23. 26 minus 23. It would be 3. 3 minus 3 0. So this is X0. And last one is Xn. So this is Y0. And Yn. So... We are going to apply Newton's forward interpolation formula because x is equal to 54 lies at the starting of the data. So round off the first corner values in the difference table. We are going to use this formula, uh, these values in the formula. Okay. See here. So according to Newton's forward interpolation formula. What is f of x otherwise y of x y naught plus p into delta y naught plus p into p minus 1 by 2 factorial into delta square y naught plus p into p minus 1 into p minus 2 by 3 factorial into delta q y naught okay here what is p value in Newton's forward interpolation formula, P is nothing but X minus X naught by H. What is X value? We are, we are going to find out Y of 54. So, X is equal to 54. Minus, what is X naught? First value, 50 by H. Interval difference is 10. Okay. So, 4 by 10. 4 by 10 is nothing but 0 0.4. So, by using this formula, I got Y of 54 is equal to y naught. What is y naught? 2 naught 5 plus p is nothing but 0 0.4 into delta y naught. This is delta y naught which is 20 plus p into p minus 1. 0 0.4 into 0 0.4 minus 1 is nothing but minus 0 0.6 by 2 factorial. It would be 3 and this is delta square y naught and this is delta q y naught. It would be 3 and last value is 0. Because delta q y naught is 0, 0 into anything, 0. Okay. See. By using calculator, we can easily get this one. 
so 205 plus 0.4 into 20 close the brackets and uh, plus into minus minus so directly I am taking negative sign take this symbol 0.4 into 0.6 into 3 is there division is 2 so I got 212.64 ok this is the required temperature to get 54 percentage of lead in the alloy ok this is the melting point thank you very much in the next video I will give some more application problems on interpolation thank you